Does the ICOM 9700 still drift using ICOM's latest firmware? Well, today in this video, we're going to investigate that and uh, see whether ICOM has truly fixed this issue regarding the drift rate on the IC9700. G'day guys, Hayden here for Ham Radio DX, and today I've got my IC9700 uh, loaded with the latest 1.20 firmware. I've done a video on that, uh, I'll link it up in the cards to uh, how you can upgrade to that latest firmware. What I've got is I've got my BG7 TBL GPS unit which is connected to the IC9700 into the reference in on the back. And what I did was I decided to do a bit of experimenting with uh, 2 meters Whisper. So what I've got is I've got uh, my remote station which is also running Whisper uh, some distance away. That uh, is GPS locked and is on frequency. So uh, we know that the remote end is uh, is to be relied upon. Now ICOM have said that they've fixed this uh, drift issue in version 1.11 and many have noticed that this uh, has been an improvement over the previous version. If we go into the reference adjust we can see here that it is automatically synchronizing to reference in and if we click on that we get a bit of an idea of where it's at percentage wise. So what we'll do is we'll do a transmission and what I'll do is I'll split the screen between my remote station on the right hand side and the screen on the 9700 on the left hand side we're running roughly about 30 watts at the moment we'll be transmitting to as i said the gps locked end to see if we get any drift and if it decodes okay we're transmitting now and we're putting out about 30 watts now if we go quickly into the reference we can see there that the reference is pretty much stuck on but now it starts to adjust and tries to compensate for the radio warming up in addition with the fan that has been that is now switched on and we can see quite a, a quick adjustment that fine adjustment is going up rather quickly once it gets to 100 then the course adjustment kicks in and it went up by I think 0.4 of a percent just then and you can see that the fine adjustment is still trying to compensate If we have a look at the uh, whisper transmission that's current, com currently coming through to the uh, other end, we can see that there's quite a. We can see that the trace started to move off as the radio tried to compensate, and then it's moved back in line again. Now it's still uh, slowly adjusting the fine measurement. It's uh, it's almost stabilised now, and it's made another adjustment. It's now. Um, gone up a little bit more in percentage of the course adjustment and the fine adjustment has slowed down. So you can see there that it is on frequency but we've just got that little that little bit at the start of the transmission as the fan turned on where it's trying to stabilize. Let's uh, see if it gets a decode in about uh, 10 seconds. Okay so it decoded and the drift was indicated as zero. However I have done testing in the last day or so that indicates that not every decode uh, does come through correctly and it does depend on how often you transmit. This radio has been sitting in the shack for quite a while, it's been uh, hooked up to the GPS for quite a while and uh, it is a fairly stable environment. However overnight when the temperature did drop out here in the shack I did notice that I was not uh, getting decodes mainly because at the start of that transmission the radio was drifting too far out for Whisper to compensate for, uh, for that drift. And we can see now that the radio is now resynchronizing back as the fan has stopped and it's uh, it's quite a dramatic change there on the fine adjustment. So anyway, that's uh, the, the IC9700 and the latest firmware. Uh, this uh, test, of course, was done on two meters. So uh, your uh, mileage may vary uh, depending on uh, what uh, stable environment you've got and also it may change uh, on 70 centimeters. Uh, definitely for 1296, the problem is still there uh, as far as whispers concerned. 